Being an empath is overrated. It's nothing to brag about or be proud of. Now, the shit I'm about to say when I have a lot of y'all feeling hurt in the ass. Being an empath is just another way of saying you're extremely submerged in humanity's insanity. You're overattached. Filling the woes of the world or absorbing other people's low vibrational energies. That isn't a gift. It's a curse. And you're cursing yourself by taking on outside energies you cannot control. A lack of self-control with spiritual submission is not a plus. Letting other energies dominate your energy, yeah, that's an empath. That's why empaths are depressed and not at peace. They focus on the outer world more than the inner world. They focus on other people's worlds more than their own. They're not being self-centered. They're centering self around others. See, peace is the ability to maintain your identity in the midst of confusion. Empaths do the opposite. They lose their peace in the midst of confusion. They lose their identity in the midst of confusion. Empath is short for empathy. Empathy is another form of sympathy. Both mean to suffer. Sympathy means to suffer, and empathy is an intense feeling of suffering. The two together create compassion, and compassion means to suffer with. As a result, you develop a confused Christ energy. If you don't know what that is, Listen to the video I did on Confused Christ Energy. Labeling yourself as an empath only intensifies your lack of emotional control. You think you're filling the world around you. But you're really having an emotional reaction to the world around you. Feelings and emotions aren't the same thing. Feeling is a sense or a sensor. Emotions are reactions to what you sense. Feeling is the action. Emotion is the reaction. Emotions are energies in motion. You should be controlling the motion of your energy, not the other way around. Control your emotions. They shouldn't be controlling you. You should be controlling the world around you. The world around you shouldn't be controlling you. Now, if you're an empath, why are you on social media? Why are you watching television? Why are you watching the news? Why are you reading newspapers? I mean, are you drawn to negativity? Is that what you like to vampire? Are you a vampire of negativity? Is that the energy you like to vamp off of? <laughs> now, where all the empaths, where all the happy empaths soaking up all the joys of the world? Why are they always sad, depressed, and crying about the world? Why are they so judgmental and upset about other people's actions and reactions? Focus on self and doing your work. You're supposed to be practicing self-mastery, not self-sabotage. Practice the empathy of self-sabotage. Being an empath is a form of mental illness. The insanity in you is compelled to the insanity in others. <laughs> now, <laughs> I know everything I said is taboo and it won't sit well with most of you. And those who profit from misleading you. <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a fuck. I don't speak French, so excuse my Swahili and pardon my propanity. But you should be more offended by the mind fuck than you are by me saying fuck. But whatever. If you don't know by now, let me tell you. Let me tell you this about me. I'm a destroyer. I destroy illusions. That's what I do. See, the thing is, when most people say they're empaths, they're describing a form of empathy for others that weighs down on their spirit, making them emotionally uneasy. They're in a state of dis-ease. 
They're not talking about parapsychology or paranormal ability to psychically read another person's emotions. Those are what you call readers, shamans, oracles, seers. Majority of the people saying they're empaths are not on that frequency. They're mentally disturbed individuals who use that word to rationalize their mental illness instead of seeking help and healing. That type of empathy is a sickness and needs to be healed. But we live in a society that we live in a society that likes to normalize mental illness by way of ignorance. They have to keep you ignorant, blissfully ignorant. Once they set the program, you do the work for them. They give you all the tools you need to destroy yourself, both spiritually and physically. See, another problem is people using words they don't know the meaning of. They're using cliches and trendy terms to describe themselves. But you got to be careful how you label yourself. Labels are markings and markings are used for incantations. People are casting spells on themselves and they don't even know it. The powers that be practice sorcery. They manipulate the masses and trick them into using their magic on themselves. In other words, they have you using your magic against you. They have you unknowingly practicing self-annihilation. People are teaching you how to hold on and you need to be learning how to let go. You hear all this talk about empathy and very little talk about apathy. They want to be empaths, not apaths. And these are the same people saying this is an illusion. We live in the matrix. We need to unplug. We need to detach. <laughs> empathy is what's keeping you plugged into the matrix. It's keeping you attached. Apathy is what helps you unplug from the matrix. Apathy is what helps you detach from the illusion. Strengthening apathy weakens empathy. Apathy means freedom from suffering, without feeling, without suffering, or to have suffered but not suffering anymore. Free of the feeling of suffering. If I had to choose, I'd pick apathy over empathy. I'd rather be an apath than an empath. But that's me. The parasitic powers that be, they feed off of your emotions. They use reverse psychology to steer you away from apathy. They need your empathy because your apathy will starve them. See, but comprehend, comprehend this though, balancing your apathy with your empathy is key. Balancing empathy and apathy is key. That puts you in control of how much you give to and how much you receive from the world around you.